The drop I've been talking about for the last few weeks now, guys, is actually starting as we speak right now. I've been warning about this. I'm going to share with you exactly where I believe it's going to drop to, but then also I believe we're going to go through a really big boom, really big bull market afterwards. I'm going to share with you exactly what I'm seeing right now in the markets. So let's before I get into this, guys, make sure you grab that free trading course if you do ha if you are having problems with these markets. That, that first thing in the description there, guys, grab the free trading course. There's four phases in the trading course. Phase number one is about the foundation, what actually, what actually the biggest mistakes you're making right now, um, what goes into a good trader, stuff like that. Phase number two and three is all about chart reading and advanced chart reading techniques. And phase number four is about my top trading system that I use every day. I'm giving that to you for free, guys. That first link in the description from there. So let me actually get straight into now. Let me actually get, guys, let me get into the market itself. The drop that I've been talking about for you guys, for you guys that know, right? For you guys that know, I've been talking about getting a drop in the markets. And I've talked about this before and I was talking about this with my private clients. And for you guys that have been watching this market, you would know also that you'd be getting ready for this. Uh, you, this, this drop, the drop didn't happen because of the Fed and what the Fed said and the, what, what the talking heads are going to say out there, okay? That is, they, they are the talking heads out there. But let me show you exactly why this is happening right now and what to actually expect coming, what, what to actually expect moving forward with, with, with these indices right now. So we did get a bit of a pullback today. Let's actually look at the actual, the, the, the charts itself, all right? And we can see here on the Dow Jones, even if we zoom close in a bit more, we can see the Dow Jones is failing right now. This is the start, guys. The market is failing, and this is the start of a pullback. Remove your egos out of this market. Now, this is just the pullback. What I mean by a pullback is that whenever we have trend analysis, if you look at what an overall trend is, an overall trend is higher, higher, higher lows, right? No, dear John, tell me something new. Okay. These are just what's called pullbacks in the markets. They're just they're, they're like reset phases. They they happen after they happen after the market has a period of going up for a while. Then we get a pullback, go up for a while. Then get a pullback, go up for a while. Right? It's just a natural rhythm of these markets and how they actually work as a whole. So we're actually due for that pullback anyway, right? So and this is something I've been warning people about um, uh, for for a while now. So we could see the Dow Jones is actually breaking below here. So to me, guys, this is the start of a really good pullback in the markets because look at this here, right? Especially when we go look at the weekly charts. What is happening through here? See, see, see this here? So we've, we've gone up, 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 a little sideways movement and just straight up. See how that's pretty much just being straight up. So what happens, what happens after, what happens for a while after we go straight up for a while? We go straight up, we get like a bit of a pullback. Go up for a while, get a bit of a pullback, right? Go up for a while, get a bit of a pullback. Go up for a while, get a bit of a pullback. Now, again, these pullbacks don't look much, but from there to there, that's a 5% pullback. From there to there, that's another 3% pullback, right? So we end up getting these pullbacks. Now, this this hit, this whole thing here is not, not normal, but as we can see from the markets, we're going through here. So to me, guys, to get a nice, healthy pullback in the markets, now, I must also say one thing too, as well too, guys. This is the start of a big bull market, but in a big bull market, we have what? A really big move up, and then we have a pullback. A big bull market is this here. Nice upward trend. That, that's a big bull market. But for now, the top's in and the, and the pullback is starting. Um, and it's actually happening right now. So we can see here. So where's it likely to pull back to? Where are we likely to pull back to? Now, no one definitely knows, but we could use some Fibonacci. We can use some Fibonacci slash um, support and resistance levels to gauge where this could begin, where we could get a pullback to. So this low point here to this high point up here. What do we see? So the Dow Jones, realistically, for the next few months, could start to make its way back down to this point through here. Um, so that's a nice what? Just, just a nice good, yeah, a nice good 8 to 10% pullback, guys. A big drop is what, what a lot of people call it. A big drop is starting right now. And this is, bit, again, traders, this is something I've been warning about for a while. And I warned about this is that, Whenever we go up for a while, it's like an energy source, right? We've gone up, 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 energy source. And then we use a lot of energy through here. And then there's like a little bit of energy. And then away we go again. So we need now what? We need a bit of a time to come back through here to really now reset. This is something I've been talking about, guys, when it comes to the fear and greed index. If you've been watching my videos for the last few weeks, about fear and greed index that I've talked about. The markets, what's happening right now is due for some form of a pullback. But here's the big thing, guys. Once we get something like this, especially now looking at the weekly charts, that's all it is. 
What I do see happening though, is that this is probably gonna freak people out for the next few months. We are probably, right, having a move down to here. Now traders, this doesn't mean that I'm not going to take bullish trades in an individual stock. In fact, right now traders, I'm in a bullish trade right now on an individual stock. All right, so if you, I see this happening on the indices, but there's gonna be, but you don't wanna, you don't wanna overlay that, what happens on the Dow Jones, to what's happening in the in the Dow Jones stocks or the S&P 500 to what's happening in the S&P 500 stocks. Because as we know, even though the S&P 500 is at all-time new highs, guess what? There's probably stocks making 52-week lows in the S&P 500. You see what I'm saying there? So they're all in different phases from there. So that's the reason why, guys, in that trading system below, I teach you exactly what to look for in an actual trading pattern. So I'm actually bullish to trade right now, but I'm expecting the stock market to pull back. Or should I say the indices to pull back and the individual stocks can do what the individual stocks are doing, right? So we can see through here that this is what's happening right now, right? So we're through here. So we're probably gonna get a bit of a pullback down to this level through here. And again, that's just a nice, healthy five to 10% pullback. This is when the market, this is when the market's gonna really, really, really freak people out. But what I do see coming out of these markets is this is gonna pull back for a few months and then it's gonna be a really big move coming into next year, really big move, especially the second half of this year. Get ready for it. So just, don't, don't be emotional. Don't get, don't, uh, just expect this because it's coming, right? And if we do start to get something like this, like a bit of a pullback down to 36,000, 35,000 in the Dow, that's probably going to be, an, uh, that's probably going to be an incredible opportunity before I see a really big leg to the upside, like a really big move to the upside coming on the second half of this year and then all of next year as well too, right? So amazing buying opportunities are happening right now underneath our feet. And we need to be ready for it. Same for the S&P 500. Look at this here. S&P 500 is failing right now. It is failing. And we talked about this before that this is not enough time to refuel. We used, we used all this energy going to the up, upside through here, right? This All this energy to the upside. It's, and then we just had a little sideways, which is just like a little refueling. This is like going for a big trip on the, on the car, in your car. And you pulling into the service station, filling up for two minutes and trying to get going again. It's like, hang on a minute. No, 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 no. We're on a quarter of a tank. We we, we, we we, need a full tank. We need a full tank for a while. You get what I'm saying here, right? And now we're dropping down through here. So on the S&P 500, where, where do I see things happening? I see things pulling back down now to around about, which is a nice you know, 10% pullback, which is probably going to be around about the... Probably the 4,600, 4,500 level is where I see things happening. But once again, traders, I do see that this is going to be, you know, you know, the you know the tops in. This is this is, the market's going to drop down through here. But then what we're probably going to see is something like that. So this next few months, guys, just be prepared for this. There could be an amazing buying opportunity coming around the corner from here as well too. Let's go look at the Russell as well. We'll just finish off with the Russell from here. Um, and we can see the the Russell. I don't believe has much of a pullback. But the big thing I'm looking for with the Russell is I'm noticing that we have this, we've actually broken out to a new, so this actually could be the start of a new trend, right? So we go up, we have like a bit of a pullback through here for a while. So we've actually this, maybe do something like this for a while. And then we start the breakout and then the Russell breakout. I've got a $300 target on the IWM for that level through there. Let's go look at quick look at gold right now for you guys as well too. And gold right now, it's just really holding here, right? Gold's not really doing much. If we bring up this chart, Let's actually look at this chart, should I say? If we squeeze this chart up, what's happening right now is we're getting this squeezing action, right? We're squeezing up through here. So once again, traders, we could be getting ready for a big breakout soon happening on the gold chart, and this could be really getting ready for you. So a few things, traders, uh, um, a few little tips here for you guys is that in this moment right now is just understand what's coming because it's the natural rhythm of the markets. That alone is going to give you power to understand, okay, this is just a normal rhythm. When the market's dropping, it's not because of some external event. It's just because of how markets work. So that On that process, you can have a bit more power so you're not getting freaked out. But then on the last note is that because you are a bit more calmer about when the market does go down and you're not getting sucked into the media, the news, and so on and so forth, you, you're in a much more better emotional point of view at the time to actually then start to make much, much, much better decisions in the markets, right? And that's what you want. You want to be making much better decisions in the markets. That's why, guys, that that the very first video in the trading course is about the 13 biggest mistakes you're making right now. Again, that's link in the description there. 
It's, it goes for like 30 minutes long, right? Walking through the top 30 mistakes you're making right now and how to overcome them. And one of those is is getting too emotionally in the markets and start, try to sit back and look at them from a non-emotional perspective and say, okay, the market's probably going to pull back from here. Uh, so as the market's doing that, you're not surprised, right? You're actually expecting it. In fact, you're getting excited by it because when, it, when the market does have a good 5 to 10% pullback, it's probably really good. it's probably a really good buying opportunity.